come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. I'm trying to make a point. Come on. Just come on. Just give it to me. Give me the nice win. Come on. Is it gonna is it gonna happen? I mean I was at 99%. I I believe in you. Come on. You can do it. Come on. Just just do it. Please? Please. I will get on my knees. There we go. That's the thing I was trying to do. You see that down there? The economy update has given us the power to cause global warming with no consequences. This is the best thing ever. Now, you all may be asking yourself, yo, Shots, how are you going to find a way to review professions exactly? Isn't it literally just grinding? Well, I have the answer to that question. Um, yeah, it is. And now we can go cause deforestation all over Windcraft, and this is great because we don't get punished for it at all when we're harming the entire environment. So the first tree you can cut down to begin your journey of depleting this world of plant life is, of course, the oak trees. And where are oak trees, you might be asking yourself. Well, I also have the answer to that. Nivla Forest. Fortunately, chopping down trees is client-sided, and therefore you can't deforest all of Nivla with your friends. But that doesn't stop you from going full-out lumberjack mode and literally causing and all the trees in sight to get nuked off the face of the entire planet. Honestly, if you had a walk speed build and you were like, uh, like level, f I, I don't know, 50 wood cutting maybe, you'd probably be able to literally deforce all of Nivla on a client side, on the client side, which is honestly hilarious. Next up, after you get through the oak trees, which shouldn't take you long at all, you have the birch trees, which come just a smidge bit after the Nivla Forest. Unfortunately, they're not all clumped together like they are in the Nivla Forest, so you actually have to not move five blocks, and instead you have to move like ten blocks from tree to tree. It's quite a large improvement, if I do say so myself. See, look, look, this isn't even cl that close together. I mean, come on. I really wanted just a giant birch forest. There probably is. I was just way too lazy to go find one. Next up, after the birch trees, you move on to the willow trees, which are usually scattered around either uh, ancient Nemrak, and that's actually all I know where to it. They might be... Actually, wait, no, I'm pretty sure they're around Olux, but uh, can we be real here? I don't think anybody likes the swamp. So, in conclusion, you're going to sit here with a bunch of zombies, get a nice hot 50 stacks of bone meal or something, because zombies and skeletons, and apparently, according to me, zombies now drop bone meal. Now that once you finally get through the willow, you now move into the savannah, where there's lots of ocelots waiting to completely swarm you and kill all your hopes and dreams. You also now have to go, um, cut down, um, you know what, last time I tried pronouncing, pronouncing, pronouncing this, um, I failed very badly, so we're not gonna do that again, and we're just gonna instead call it, <clears throat> Ocelot Swarm Trees of Death. Sound good? Good. Now we're moving out of the grassier environments into the snowy environments, where you will inevitably encounter many, many Ice Barrow Key Guardians that will start pool spamming you away from the beautiful spruce trees you're just calmly trying to cut down. But just go full out lumberjack instinct, and you will just ascend beyond them, and they will no longer pool spell you. What I just said is completely false, and what you actually want to do is just one shot them because you're probably a level 100. Once you're done with your spruce trees and causing the forest to not have oxygen anymore, you now are going to move along into the jungle area, as that is the next tree. Now, allow me to give you some great quality commentary of what everybody's reaction is when trying to go across the Great Bridge. <laughs> <laughs> ah! 
Also, in the jungle, there's a bunch of slime, so you can get a lot of gelatinous chunk, I think is what it's called. I, I don't know. You get that a lot, so I mean, yay? Now, once you're finally done getting completely obliterated, and by obliterated, I mean getting annoyed to death, by the jungle fetishes and slimes running around, you now must move on to Ugavel for the next tree because in when the highest thing it has is, of course, the jungle. So, I, I forgot to mention, by the way, so far, that I really like the super creative names for some of the trees here. To be fair, they couldn't really change anything, but I mean, the next tree is legit just called Dark. Just Dark. I mean, when you think about it, when you tell somebody you're gonna go cut down some dark trees, or like, somebody walks up to you and just asks, hey, what trees are you cutting down right now? Some dark trees. That could mean a number of different trees. They're like spruce, that's dark. Willow, that's dark. Uh, what are some other dark trees? I don't know. Just, there's a lot of dark trees that could be described as dark. Why? Why Why couldn't you, like, I don't know, say candor or something? I know that's not an actual thing in real life, probably. I don't know. I don't really care. But we're near the candor forest, right? It makes sense, kind of. Once you manage to finally get through the dark forest, and by the way, 60 through 70 isn't all that bad, but once you hit level 70, oh boy, you're in for a grind. But anyway, regardless, now you're in the light forest, and if you thought the Ice Barrow Key Guardians pool spell spamming you everywhere in the, what's it called, um, uh, around that snowy place, that place, Oh, you're in for a treat now, because at complete random knee guards, which you don't actually have to fight, but they still exist, and corrupted infested pit, you know, those things that sometimes will actually legitimately jump scare you because they move so fast. Yeah, those things. Also, similar to dark, this one is legit just called light. There are a number of trees you could describe as light, as in light in color, like why? Why? I mean, to be fair, even I can't think of a more creative name than that. Oh, speaking of which, here's a Corrupted Infested Pit Gee Guardian right now. Now, correct me if I'm wrong here, but I'm pretty sure there are two different trees you can actually cut down once you hit level 80, being bamboo and pine. Now, I have no clue where bamboo might be. I'd assume it's in Canyon of the Lost, but I just cut down pine out here, and the nice thing about pine is you'll occasionally see the uh, security camera, and if you're fast enough, you can kill that thing because it's basically Cybel if Cybel was a passive mob. But <laughs> there's also... Um, the slight fact that, uh, you know how Corrupted Ice Bear is, is a thing now, right? Um, yeah. It also has Pool Spell. And it mostly spawns around Corcus. Uh, yeah, this is where you say your prayers. I grinded for Pine directly outside of Corcus in this area because it was right next to the bank, so... Yeah, y you might as well. And then, finally, you go on to... Avo wood, which I'm assuming is related to the Avos or something. I don't know. I don't really care. This is also another thing you could describe as light. Oh yeah, speaking about that bamboo thing, if you really want, I guess you can go find some bamboo and like, I, I don't know, make pandas go extinct. I don't know why you would want pandas to go extinct, but if you're that kind of person and that's your kind of thing, go ahead, I guess. I went to finish my avo here because there's not a lot of mobs to bamboozle you repeatedly over here. There sometimes will be ones that like walk over and stuff. And by the way, in case you were wondering, yes, the corrupted Ice Bearer's Key Guardian will still sometimes spawn here and start push, I mean not push, pool. That's what it is, pool spelling you everywhere. There's also a rare mob that spawns here, and it can drop Mega Fern and uh, some random tier 3 meat thing, so you might as well just abuse that too. 
Now, I've saved the best part of this video for last. You know how when you hit a level 100, you unlock the trees to cut down, literally called Sky? There's nothing else Sky? Yeah, I've yet to go look for some Sky, but I'm going to use my 300 IQ and make the very bold guess that the Sky Trees are in the Sky Islands. Honestly, it seems like Sky would be the worst to grind because of the fact that you're in the Sky Islands and if you accidentally misclick, you'll just send yourself into the void. Oh, see, this is exactly what I was talking about. Um, I'll just talk while I slowly float to my demise. Um, right, so, uh, what, what was I saying? Something, some, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So I was at level 99, right? And it took 20 trees chopped down to get a single percent. So if you ever decide to like try and get gathering really high, have fun without DXP and profession speed like I did for like 75% of level 99 to 100. It was pretty fun, not gonna lie, but I mean, even I find 20 trees for 1% kind of ridiculous. So Windcraft's new motto, by the way, is going to be causing global warming one tree at a time. 